Today is Tuesday, September 26th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Ilana Epstein. Here are today's top stories. Five local retail shops, including two on Marshall Street, have been shut down due to accusations of selling illegal marijuana. NY Exotic and Escape Exotic have closed at the expense of Syracuse cracking down on the growth of illegal cannabis shops. Mayor Walsh said, quote, these stores posed a risk to public health and safety. They were flagrantly ignoring the state's requirement to be licensed to sell adult use cannabis products. Just last night, a Syracuse woman was robbed at gunpoint. The 20-year-old woman had plans to sell her Apple Watch face-to-face -to, -face to a person she met through Facebook Marketplace. In the evening, a group of several men surrounded her at McAllister Avenue. One of them had a gun. They fled the scene after she gave them her belongings. Police say no one was injured during the robbery and to take caution when meeting and buying items from people online. An update on one of the teens accused of stealing a Lexus from a car dealership near Syracuse. The teen that drove through the front glass at Driver's Village is now charged with three felonies. Car theft, possession of a loaded handgun with five rounds of ammunition in it, and possession of 130 bags of fentanyl. He was home on a visit from a juvenile facility when he committed these crimes. The career fair is happening right now in the Dome that offers students the opportunity to meet professionals who are eager to help launch their careers. Students can still sign up for the event on Handshake. The career and internship fair will continue until Friday. Following the fair, Micron is coming to campus. Tomorrow, students can learn about job and internship opportunities in Link Hall from 10 to 2. And Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital is now at full capacity due to the rise of respiratory illnesses following the summer. The hospital is developing a new plan to make sure they are prepared for a possible, quote, triple-demic this Syracuse winter. Until the hospital can make long-term expansions, the facility will rely on emergency plans and encourage the community to vaccinate and wear masks when sick. And when we come back, Onondaga County's latest program to address housing issues across Syracuse. Stay with us. The Clemson Tigers, and we enjoy that game. Q's Countdown is live. We welcome you to a live edition of Q's Countdown. Brand new year, time to right the wrong. Welcome back to the Citrus TV Now. Onondaga County just announced its latest recipients of their new housing initiative program, OCHIP. The program is helping fund the construction of nearly 400 new housing units, just under $2 million in funding for the new units. The program aims to help the lack of housing available due to the growth in population. And for all those who are still looking for a ticket to the Syracuse vs. Clemson game this weekend, Syracuse University Athletics are offering a ticket flash sale. The tickets are going for $46, and today is the last day students can purchase them. Well, the Syracuse game wouldn't be the same without clear skies to go along with it. Brandon, what's going to be our weather going into game day? Well, Lana, we are seeing a lot of fall temperatures start to move in. Right now, it's 67 degrees. It's going to be mostly cloudy with 8 mile per hour winds. Looking into later tonight, those clouds are going to be sticking around. It's going to be 57 degrees as well as with 4 mile per hour winds. Now, let's take a look here at our Five, or not five day, three day forecast. Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be very similar to today. It's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 70 and 72. Unfortunately, Friday, we are going to be seeing some showers with a high of 71. Uh, if you want to see my full five day forecast, you'll have to stay tuned to News Live at 6. But, Luke, what else do we have? Thanks, Luke. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Alana Epstein. The news continues in an hour with John Perrick and Jake Morrell.